about to get started here. So here's the lefty, Max Free. Chris is up three ERA for him a year ago. But when your numbers are coming in under three as a starting pitcher that's going out there every fourth or fifth day, taking the ball, competing against really good big league hitters, it's extremely impressive. And you wonder what he figured out last year that he can carry into this season that can help him to maintain that Now the Diamondbacks lineup as put together by Tori Lavello. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. Well, there's a lot yeah. of young talent in this lineup. I think as they One gel two, together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. Ground ball, Austin Riley. Quick start here this evening, two out, top of the first. Cattell Marte up to the plate. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. One, two. Swings ah. through that, and it's a strikeout. And it's a one, two, three inning. Diamond back here in Atlanta. And towing the slab, Eduardo Rodriguez. What's the word on him? He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four. But this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. Base stock center field. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he'll make it safely for a leadoff double in the bottom of the first. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive in the center field. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. Guriel has it sized up. Makes the grab one down. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Chris, he's a former Hank Aaron Award winner, which means he was named the best overall offensive performer in his league. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Guriel handles the chance, and there are two down. Here's Matt Olson. The first base Olsen. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Guriel handles the chance. Brave strand one. Scoreless after one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of the second. Stepping in, Corbin Carroll. The pitch. Hey! And one and two. Hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner with two strikes. You just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Christian Walker. In the air, right field. Acuna sizes this one up. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Back at Truist Park, here's Austin Riley.
Line drive, caught! It's never fun going back to the that dugout after it. hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. On the ground to third. Over to first, and Albies is retired. Here's Marcelo Zuna. God, he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition. And tried to slow his back down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Falling That's behind 2-1. Swings through that one for strike two. Two and two. The lefty fires. And now Full it's count. filled up. Got him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Oh, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. And now the catcher comes up to him. Gabriel Moreno. We talk so much about how starting pitchers prepare for their starts. I talked with Max Breed, and one of the things he told me back in 19, he and Lucas Giolito oh. started using MLB The Show to go over scouting reports. Top of the third, no score. Down to the third swing and a miss. And there's two gone following the strikeout. I gotta think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. That missed. Now, that's close, the ball. ruled a ball. Two and one. Max said he's not sure who actually started at first, but it was 2019, and he and Giolito, who were teammates together in high school in Los no, Angeles. They had the idea to become more familiar Three, with one. the opposing lineup using MLB to show. Two outs. Fought off foul. Two outs, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work. Set for the bottom of the third. Now in for the Braves. Jared Kelman. On the ground. Suarez throw to first in time. And a quick out number one. Here's Sean Murphy. One out. Base is empty. Murphy. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level, playing at night. Inside, oh. just missed. It's a good take. And a swing and a miss. Two out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. The batter will be the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Swings and last one deep to left center. That one's carrying. And it's gone. He'll circle the bases. His fourth home run of the season. And the Braves have the lead now. It's 1 0. Velocity is so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Two outs, nobody on. Now the number two hitter, Michael Harris. And downstairs. No, oh. Three 
he wanted. Ball he couldn't ball come ball up ball. with Take it. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing now without giving up any more right runs. Field. He's just got to turn Love the page and go after yeah. this next guy. Junior. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Runner, Runner takes off. Pitch hey, in for a strike. Okay. Save in second, and he easily steals the bag. Well, it really doesn't matter what the situation is. When a guy like this gets on first, you know he's going to steal second at some point during the at-bat. Nice job to get in the scoring position. The defense probably knew it was coming, but they just couldn't do anything to stop it. One and two now on Acuna. Oh, that's low. That's the ball. Big stack center field. Around third, he'll score, and they take a two-run lead. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there, coming back in that at-bat. Runner at first with two away. Here is Matt Olson. Acuna runs. Pitch in for a strike. Save and second with a stolen base. One, two. Runner on the goal again. Knocks that one away and will do it again. High leg kick hangs in the air, but he read it nicely. And now in scoring position to add on to this lead. But Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs. Runner goes again. Ground ball to the right side. Into the outfield base hit. Fires it to the plate. It's off the mark and he scores. And they lead by three. A couple of singles back to back. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. So two down. And next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Kicks and fires. Out towards right center field. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Three runs on. And we're back. John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Geraldo Perdomo. Close nope. one oh. doesn't get the call. Ball two. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Bounce to third. Sneaks through, base head. And the leadoff man aboard. Now bad. Randall Gritchick now. Randall. Gritchick. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. One ball, He's pitching two well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but we can never predict baseball. And here it comes. Up the middle, finds its way through base hit. Back-to-back -back base now, hits. Now. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Here comes a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. All right, the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. This is Corbin Carroll. Nope. Wouldn't Ball. chase that time. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. The other way. Oh, he botches it. this up or anything but I think pitchers who tend to rack up a bunch of strikeouts sometimes end up with more errors behind them in the field just because the defenders aren't as involved in the game they're not as sharp and who knows if that played any factor there but I think there could be something to it bases loaded one away here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Gurriel gets a piece 
So all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. On the ground, could be two. He's hit, one run in already. Rowe comes into third. More patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Runners at the corners here, one away. And now the first baseman, Christian Walker. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And a count one and two. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that Three. he got it. Huge strikeout there. Well, they were pretty much giving it to him right there. Playing the infield back. All you're looking for on offense is a simple ground ball. You got a tie ball game. I'm not sure what he was thinking up there. A strikeout look at is the last thing you want to see. Now you got to hope the next guy can pick you up and come through with a big two out hit. Hey, Eugenio Suarez is up to the plate now. Swing and miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. So two runs in the inning on three hits, one error, but two are left stranded. On now. Back here in Atlanta, here is Ozzy Albies up to it. The pitch. That misses. And it's two and one. You know, these Braves doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers oh. back that up. They're hitting everything through. Three and one. Their contact rate is in the low 90s. It's like they know what's coming, and that's just pretty ridiculous what they're doing right now. Those numbers are well above the major league average. Guriel handles the chance, and there's one down. So here's the Braves' designated hitter, Marcelo Zuna. Here's a 1 1. Yeah. Base is empty one away. You're in game one of this three game set. And another ball. So a man aboard now with one away. Here's Jared Kelman. Snap throw to first. Hey! And he's back in safely. Man at first, one away. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Guriel handles the chance. So here's a Murphy now. The pitch. Lifted in the air, right field. Carroll pulls it down. That is the inning. One left for set for the start of the inning. Here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Gabriel Moreno. The line of the pitch. Brings the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And though not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. Now what a check swing at the 1-1. One -one. Look down to first. That's a swing according to umpire Woody Keller. One down, base is empty. In the air on the infield, Olsen settles under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Two down, nobody on. That one down the line. 
Tosses across the first. And Arizona is set down one, two, three. Nothing. Back at Truist Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Orlando Arcia. Ball to strike. The pitch. That one ran inside, almost got him. You know, these Braves doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there, and on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. Yeah, yeah. Michael Let's Harris next up for the Braves. Left field. Guriel has it sized up. He's got it, and there's two away. Two outs, bases empty. Next to hit, Ronald Acuna Jr. Two outs. And that one pulled foul. This to third. Suarez throw to first in time. They get the... All right, we go to the... Top half of inning number six. Here's the center fielder, Randall Gritchick. And fouled off. Next That's offering is downstairs. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three home hitter coming off if he's won. Misses struck him out. Well, showing some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one, not just in terms of swing and miss, but also in terms of command. So all the strikeouts, they just kind of speak for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. Here's Cattell Marte, and he walked Take him. Your base, ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Now, Hitter now, didn't now. offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Now up next for Arizona, Corbin Carroll. Comes up empty. That's strike two. The two strikes. You may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play That's right here. Next pitch is downstairs. Two balls, two strikes. Left-hand hitter waits. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. No swing. Just held it back there. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Calling oh, this count. Runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. That's a foul. On the ground right side. And it's just foul. That was close. And a 3-2. Hey, he battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an event like that one. Here's Guriel. Two outs. Here's a chopper to short. Arcia whips it to first, and that is that. So no runs. Well, we go bottom six, and now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. For Matt, a pretty impressive resume. A first-round pick back in 2012. The Braves extended him eight years, $168 million. Remember, they, this one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double. And his second hit. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down. And it's like he's moving in full speed in every... Number 30 comes on now. This is his fifth appearance of the year. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Right-hander kicks, deals. Bounced up the middle, Perdomo. Fires over to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. A gigantic blast.
his first homer of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 5-2. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. So one out, nobody on. And the batter now, Marcelo Zuna. And strike two. One and two. And a ball and two strikes. Base hit, center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now in for the Braves, Jared Kelman. And the righty deals. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Two runs across in the inning here in the bottom of the sixth. This one high in the air to left center. Gritchick sizing this one up. He makes the grab, and there's two down. Now back. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Sean Murphy. Murphy. There's a 1-1. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Okay. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. And a pitch. Ball. Oh. Michael Harris in the on-deck circle. First and second, two down. continues they kept him in the yard that time but all he's doing now is passing the baton and everything seems to get started around this guy now a chance for Michael Harris Brown ball left side fair ball one runs in the second run scores it's seven to two that's three singles in a row not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play that's a team to bat right there nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep Ray Thompson on the pitch here and we all know about his slider it's just filthy man and one of the better ones in the game I'd say spin rate's very high and it just breaks a ton here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate and that one is lifted in the air and that's a base hit around third. He will score. It's 8-2. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Thompson picks the first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Harris at third. Acuna on at first with two down. The 1-1 is fouled off. And a 1-2. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. In comes the run from third. And they're pulling away up by seven now. Well done. Drives in the run. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. You let the ball travel, and you took the barrel. First and second, two down. And next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Two on, two outs. And there's a foul ball. Run, run, run. 
Here's the pitch. It's a double Hit. steal. And he chases that one. Inning over. Although we go to the top of the seventh. And here's the first baseman, Christian Walker. And now the lefty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind of the pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. The wind to kick the pitch. There's a high chopper. Arcia to first. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Here's the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Now we see Rysel Iglesias out of the bullpen. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Two and two. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. This one in the air right field. Can't get there. Base hit. Run around at first with one gone. And here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Ah. And now it's even up. Two and two is the count. Ground ball up the middle. That's a hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Let that pitch get pretty deep on him. So I think he was looking to go the other way. It was off speed and inside, though. So a one, good two. adjustment to shoot it back up the middle. To short, could be two. Arcia over to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. The Braves pen comes through in fine fashion. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. Braves nine, and the Diamondbacks two. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now the batter now, Ozzy Albies. And the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Righty to the plate. Foul ball still a one and two count. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Righty delivers. Fouls it off, still one and two. At the belt and fires. Nice grab. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Hard hit left side. Perdomo on the first. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Jared Kellner next up for the Braves. Two down, nobody on. Ripped on a line to center. Gritchick makes the catch, and that'll do it. And we're back. We're at the top of the eight, and now the shortstop. Tyler Matzik will take over on the mound. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Just uh -uh, off the uh -uh. outside edge. Now two balls and a strike. You know, these D-backs looking to string together better at bats Ball. when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened Three, for them yet. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because Hold those count. are moments you just can't get back. Three balls, two strikes to count. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Kelman puts it away for the out. One up, one down. And now the center fielder, Randall Gritchick. 
That's the third. Riley zips it to first. Play is made to out. Cattell Marte stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And a pitch. Yeehaw! Back to him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do oh. with that. And another ball. In the air to left down the line. On his way over. Makes the grab. And that is that. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy. That one ripped. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Here's Orlando Arcia. And the right hander deals. Rip towards third. And a couple oh. of quick outs. Now the number two hitter, Michael Harris. And the pitch. Late swing, foul to the left. Well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here. And that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. One, two now. That's the ball. Two, two. There's a swing and a drive. Lays out, but it's off his glove. Base hit, and the inning continues. And that's a two-out double. Here's Acuna now. Kicks and fires. That one drilled left field, and it stays fair. Coming home. He scores, and it's now 10 2. It's a double, third hit of the night for him. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in the mechanics. Matt Olson up to the plate. And they put the tag on him. That's the third out inning over. So it's one run on two hits. No errors. No one left. Ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the right fielder, Corbin Carroll. Pitch no, misses outside. Up. And that's ball two. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Throw on to Olsen. Out on a bang-bang play, but he made it close. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Oh, just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. The first base Next up for the Diamondbacks, Christian Walker. That That's one missed. Ball. Two balls, one strike. And ball. another ball. 3 1. And there's ball Take four. Take your bait. Ball four. Close pitch there, but you've got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first. And then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. The 1 1 is fouled off. This could end it. And two, it two. skips in the dirt. Right. And that'll do it. Key to this game was that huge sixth inning. They jumped all over the opposing pitching, and it was like they knew what was coming. And that kind of confidence just takes a team to the finish line. And that's what they did. They got the win in this game. 10 2, the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.